Welcome to the Love Jones Show. We gon' talk to Mish, get into it, so make sure you stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wow. Hey, love bugs. <laughs> oh, I can't match this real fast. Hey, baby, what's up, boo? So, um, we heading back over to these IG streets. <laughs> Shouts out to Raz Reacts. Look at this video, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. I'm here to let you know Nicole is actually Nico and I'm fucking with Jarvis and I wish you get your one two Sierra step in the what? First of all, we're not talking about the same Jarvis. Yeah, we talk talking about the same Jarvis 82297 that I stutter. What is happening? Right. Oh, you call me. Oh, no, 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 you call Oh, wait, don't be pulling the baby. Stop calling my go with your around. Go cry me a river like Justin Timber. What is going on? Y'all, not a grown ass man approaching a woman over fucking with his nigga. I am deceased. A man approaching, oppressing a woman that looked to be working at Walmart. Because y'all know Walmart is the ghetto. I love Walmart. I love Walmart. But a whole bunch of ghetto shit goes on in Walmart. They need their own reality show. A grown man approaching a woman over fucking his man. What? He said, cry me a river, leave my nigga alone. I'm Nico. He got me saving his phone as Nicole you, Jarvis. She like, we not, you not talking about my Jarvis. He said, yes, I am talking about my Jarvis. Why would a grown man, why do a lot of these men want to be bad bitches so bad? Sir, you're a man. The D and S test determine it's a man with a P. You is a man, a whole man, approaching a woman and her child that seemingly was, at, I guess it was take your daughter to work day, I don't know. Telling her to leave your nigga alone. I wish I, that had to be so humiliating. Like, I cannot imagine my man fucking with another man and his man had the nerve to come and try to press me like woman to woman. You is a whole nigga. Why is you approaching a woman? What? It don't even like, was he going to fight her? Like, what is going on? What is happening? Was he going to fight this lady? It seemed like he was ready to like put the pause and like square up. Like, what's up? That's my nigga. Like, stop calling my nigga. Like, what do we, what? Why are you as a grown man approaching a woman over a man? What the fuck is the world coming to, y'all? Hey, Mia, what is the world coming to? I am so embarrassed for her. I am so embarrassed. He forgot he was a man or something because ain't no way. I would have been like, you is a whole nigga. Why are you approaching me about a man? Like, what the we, what? This is so humiliating. I told y'all these men will embarrass the fuck out of you, y'all. Like, it's really given just be single. <laughs> it's, it's given be single. It's given... Hang out with your girlfriends and, and, and raise your kids with your friends and then and get a little dick on the side if you need to every now and then because uh yes, yes, the DL situation. Speaking of DL situations, she didn't know his name was saved as Nicole. And she and he said, Yeah, the name that's saved as Nicole is me. I'm it's Nico, bitch. Why isn't why? Why is a grown man with a beard and a mustache approaching a woman over another man? That is just wild to me. I would love to know what Jarvis had to say about that. What did Jarvis have to say? And I don't think, I don't, I, it's extremely fucking inappropriate. If you were biologically a man, you should not be putting your hands on a, by a woman, period. You shouldn't. You're physically stronger. There's no way that you should be approaching a woman, bucking up in her face, yelling and cursing at her 
over a man as a man. I don't, I, that's so fucking inappropriate. Like, love to hear the hearing. Thanks, boo. That's so inappropriate. A grown man getting up in a woman's face over another man. What the fuck is going on? What in the Stranger Things? I, I, somebody said Jerry Springer. What in the Jerry Springer? <laughs> you can't make this shit up. He was going to fight her. That's what black men do, gay and I. It's fucked up. They looking bad out here, y'all. They make they making themselves look crazy. And nobody's talking about your preference or your what your orientation. But why are you as a man getting up in a woman's face over a man? You are making yourself and your likeness. Black men are out here looking fucking crazy. Ooh. Don't tell nobody I said that, y'all. Don't tell, don't tell nobody I said that. It's getting scary out here, yeah. Ghetto toxic circus, that part. Cause what the what? Yo, I could y'all imagine a man approaching you at your job over your nigga? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, I would run it hot. Speaking of DL, let's go to this video. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all. Shouts out to is on site for you. So TikToker says that men are DL because they are not given a safe space enough. Wait, because they are not given a safe enough space to share their past encounters with other men. So yeah, it's the real the real. A lot of men are on the DL, down low, doing a lot of shit behind people's back and not being honest about it the big reason is music under the big reason is because they're not given a safe space and this is what i mean by this when you got a woman who will let you know who she's been with a woman before you know she's into women every now and again they they not judge like that it's looked at, at in society like it's cool and it's accepted you know what i mean you can sit there and tell i'm not gay i'm not a lesbian just so you know, like I mess around with women. I had a college, a college experience when I was younger or whatever. And it's accepted when a man say, and it's accepted when a man say that he's gay, he got a, a disease, he's this, he's that. He could never just have a safe space to be like, well, you know, I had an experience with a transgender. I had an experience with a man and you know, it was this and it's not gay. It's just something like, you know, I don't want to do all the time or be with them or anything like that. And I wonder why I want to know, like, it's a double standard. <laughs> Why is it a double standard like that? And um, ladies, y'all answer me. Why is it a double standard? Because I've seen a clip of a pastor. He was like, would you date a man who have had um, gay experience or something like that? And he always was like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Really met with some real like negative thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this. If it's accepted for women, you're not giving a man a safe space for them to express their sexuality or something they may try to want to try or whatever you know what i'm saying it's just that's a big reason why and you got to put something what and they lie and they cheat with you with, with a girl or they got whatever but i'm talking about you know it's giving a safe space to people to be with who they want to be with all right i'm not reading the rest of this i i couldn't play it because uh breezy was playing in the background and i need to make my coin so Basically, it sounds like he's blaming women for being on a DL and not feeling comfortable enough to come out and express himself. And I think that's a fucking a, a crock of shit. You are who you are on it. You don't need, exactly, no safe space needed for that. Yes, if you are, if you are bi, then just be who you are. Why do, why do women, why is it a women's job to create a safe space for men to come out and say what they need to say? There's some women that will accept that. There's some women that won't. But women that won't accept it, give her the right to not accept that. It's like y'all want to force people to adhere to however it is that you feel like you want to live your life. If you want to go back and forth, that's your business. But if a person does not want to be with a person like that, you can't get mad and say, oh, you don't give me a safe space. No, she does not like that. She don't want to be with a man that's going back and forth. Why is that a crime? Because most of the time, everybody, 
doing anything. Everybody, I know I be like, it's real scary out here because you don't know who's doing what. And people be like, oh, he looked gay. He talk gay. You don't know what the hell that looks or talks like because it's people that look like 50 Cent that's getting bent over. And it's people that's a little more on a, you know, the metrosexual spectrum that ain't never do nothing with a man. So you really cannot tell. You cannot gauge what what is what these days. There's no look to it. It's basically just people being honest about who they are and what they do. Where is a safe space for women who don't want that, right? It's kind of like they ostracize you and they demonize you and they blame you for all of your problems because that's not necessarily what you want to get down with. Yeah, I'm single too because I, I just, I just look, I need me a man that's off the grid. <laughs> I need me somebody that really don't post on social media like that. <laughs> I need me somebody that's really out the way because if I'm going to be in a relationship, like uh, this whole, it's so embarrassing out here, y'all. It's so embarrassing. You just don't know who is who and what is what. You really don't know. And I'm just, I'm going to just need everybody to leave women out of it. It don't got nothing to do with women. You don't feel safe. That's because you don't feel safe. It's not because women are not making you feel safe. You create your own spaces. Go and be with women that are accepting of that. The thing is, you, you know that the average woman does not necessarily want that. And you want to still have your cake and eat it too. So you, you prefer to keep it on the low so you can still dip in wherever you want to go. That's just the truth. Be honest. It's crazy. It's, 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 oh my God. Y'all, it's just like, you don't know what the fuck is going on out here these days. You don't know who is who. You, know, you just don't know. You just don't know. You don't know where I'm going to find it because everyone on social media. I mean, he could be on there, but he don't need to be like on it all the time. It's either you like you're on it a little bit or we're on there together working, like doing content. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no profanity, no profanity. Uh, misspell cuss words. And make sure y'all hit the like button. Let me see how many likes I got. Well, I'm going to 